ready? Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to Enjoy Life. I am Joy and this is... And this is day seven of Vlogmas. Yeah. And so today, well first of all, shout out to us making it a whole week. And we are about to make banana pudding. We were going to double the um, ingredients to make it bigger, but I didn't have enough milk, nor enough of my sweetie in this milk. So we just gonna make a regular small one. We got a lot of desserts anyway, so they'll be fine. They're gonna be a little sad, but it's okay. Hold on. First, we're gonna start with our banana and cream, and then we're gonna put in our French vanilla. So, no, not yet. So this is the banana and cream. And this is the French vanilla. Oh, 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 wow. Here, pour this one in there. Oh, oh, okay. Great job, Logan. Yeah. And now we're going to put three cups of milk in here. Oh no, mommy going to do it, okay? What is this? What is this? This is the sweet and condensed milk. Oh, is this the milk? Yeah. Oh. It's a different kind of milk. We don't want this milk in our cereal. It's too thick. But it's really sweet. And then for the last cup, we're going to use sweet and condensed milk. Put that down. I'm just gonna put some heavy cream in there to make up for the milk that I'm missing. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and double this recipe. And this is another French vanilla and another banana and cream. Okay, and we're gonna save the rest of this condensed milk for another part of our recipe. And we'll go ahead and put in this last cup. Okay, y'all, so now this is already starting to thicken up. Now all we have to do is cover it in plastic wrap and let it sit in the refrigerator for, I don't know, like 15 minutes. I don't know what the box is. I don't have it in front of me, but whatever the box is, leave that for that long. When you need a plastic wrap to sit, it don't sit. We gonna sit this to the side. Okay, y'all, so this is the um, second part of the recipe. And this is just gonna make it uh, just a lot more rich. And no, it's not gonna be too sweet. 
it's gonna be like just right it's gonna be so good and i let these soften overnight because i'm about to cream this so now i'm about to cream the cream cheese okay so now that the cream cheese looks like this i'm about to add in the rest of the sweetie condensed milk Okay, so now I'm about to mix the rest of this. I'm gonna add a little bit of Cool Whip in there. And that's it. And most people, some people put this on the, um, some people put this mix in their pudding, like mix it in the pudding. Some people just use it to top it. I use it as the middle layer of my banana pudding. And we're gonna put this to the side until it's time to make our banana pudding. And it's been about five minutes, so I'm pretty sure the banana pudding is ready. Okay, y'all, so our banana pudding has set, and now I'm about to just kind of break it up. Mama, the button. Mama, the button. Okay, go ahead. While he's doing that, I add um, Cool Whip in it. Hmm. And then I'm just gonna fold the Cool Whip in it. Okay, so that's pretty much folded in. I'm gonna let Logan go ahead and mix some more in there because I know he is just waiting to do that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And this is the big thing of Cool Whip and it's equal to two of them. So I don't do measurements for this. I'm just showing y'all how I make it. <laughs> that's enough. And then that's enough to put on top of my pudding so you can top it. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. I'm gonna start putting the cookies in. Okay, which one are you gonna do? You gonna put the cookies in or you gonna stay? You gonna put the cookies in? Okay. Logan gonna put the cookies in. Here. Okay. Put them in. No, put them in there. Okay. Line them up, okay? This is definitely a recipe that you can um, do with your kids. Because they can put the cookies in. <laughs> they can stir stuff up. Four. Banana pudding is very quick and easy. Y'all, my phone ran out of storage in the middle of me doing a video. When I in the middle, when we about to start making it. So it's already made, but I have a lot extra left over. Um, cause remember I told y'all I made double the amount. So, which was perfect. Thank you Lord for letting me go ahead and do that because I was so sad because I thought I wasn't able to do the video. Okay, so let's get started. So first I line the bottom of the pan. Let me move these bananas out the way. I line the bottom of the pan with cookies. Put one in the middle there. I broke one. Then I go in with some banana pudding. Then I go in with some bananas. And I was telling y'all like, I don't like, I love banana pudding, but I don't like bananas. I'm gonna put fire right there. But anyway, like I like banana pudding, but I do not like bananas like in my food. Like I can eat a regular banana, but I do not like bananas in my food. 
And that's just banana pudding. I mean, not banana pudding. That's just banana bread, but that's different. And I like them in my smoothies, but that's also different. But I don't like them like mushy and like this kind of stuff. Like, I do not like that. So we just put another layer of cookies. Now we are about to put my really sweet mixture in there. We're gonna put that right here. In that pan, this was the middle mixture, the middle layer of the banana pudding. Okay, so now I'm about to put another layer of cookies. That could be turned over, but another layer of banana pudding. And y'all, y'all can do y'all layers how y'all want to. And like, even though I don't like this is the sweet mixture again. Even though I don't like banana, um like i don't like i don't eat the bananas in my pudding like i'd be like strategically putting bananas in my banana pudding to figure out like how i can pick them out the best way like what layer is it best for me to put it that's easy for me to pick it out <laughs> but i also don't like banana pudding that isn't made with bananas like i still want bananas in my pudding because it's like when it doesn't have bananas it don't have like that the bananas give it like a, I don't know how to describe it. I'm gonna use the rest of that on top because I use all of the whipped cream on that one. So it's like, and I don't like banana puddings with a whole bunch of bananas because then it take me a long time to pick the bananas out. Like, how am I supposed to pick the bananas out easily? Y'all got all these bananas in here. Like, there's bananas everywhere. That's annoying to me. So, yeah. I don't like uh, extra banana feel banana pudding. I just don't. It's not good and it's not great. I don't like it. <laughs> this is my first time doing it in a clear thing. Literally, I'm just doing this for y'all. I was about to go ahead and just make some banana pudding ice cream. And then this happened. And I was like, oh no. Y'all was about to be so super sad. I'm gonna put some more bananas right here. I don't know why these cookies be stuck together like that, but. I'm gonna put another layer of banana pudding. Right? Yeah. Y'all always end up overfilling mine. But listen, I don't get no complaints about it. With this, I should have used another um, spatula because now it's all yellow. But just so y'all know, it usually would be looking white like the banana pudding over there. But I still wanted to give y'all the finish the video, even though I didn't get to. I'm gonna put some more cookies on top of this. Let me put my banana in the middle. I like to put a banana in the middle so everybody know that like it's screaming like I'm a banana pudding. So that's the reason I put the banana pudding right here so we can yell that. Okay. And now for what you all have been waiting for. You just use the crumbs that's at the bottom of your um, cookie bag. And this was from one of the cookie bags that I used um, for the original <laughs> video, the original banana pudding. 
And this is how you just make it a little pretty. You just add some flavor. And now the banana pudding is finished. Whew. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in for day seven of Vlogmas. Um, Logan did help with that one, but he wasn't able to, he can hear me in the video. He said he's not in it, but, um, he's playing now. So that's why I didn't put him in it. But anyway, Logan has started eating the cookies and he's supposed to be minding the cookie thing. Then he started eating the cookies. So y'all already know it's hard to make a eating video with Logan, well, cooking video with Logan because he be eating the stuff up. So he did start eating the cookies and that is, uh, the, I got his bag over there that he was eating the cookies. Um... But, so, I'm glad I was still able to show you guys how to make it. And, oh, it looks so pretty. So, make sure you tune in for day eight. Oh. So, make sure you tune in for day eight of Vlogmas. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. So, let me give y'all a close-up of the banana pudding. And this is the one I just made um, on camera. This is the one I was supposed to make on camera, but, you know... It got messed up. And I ended up running out of whipped cream with this one. So that's why you can see inside there. But usually, um, I do not. I just forgot to go to the store to get another thing of whipped cream. I mean, of Cool Whip. Um, so just know, this usually, you can't see through. There'd be a thick layer of whipped cream. I mean, of Cool Whip at the top of my banana pudding. So, yeah. But I ended up running out. And then I didn't have any for this one. But they still look marvelous. Mm, can't wait to get into that.